Hello, this is my first video. It's a solution for people running Windows XP and have a wireless network router and um, are experiencing massive lag spikes every 60 seconds or so. Anyway, I'll start off by just showing you exactly what I'm talking about here. Go to start, run, command, type in. This will bring up the MS-DOS prompt. Just to show you exactly what I'm talking about, type in ping minus t google.com. We'll use Google because it's an easy example. A lot of people don't actually realise they're experiencing this problem because they might not play first person shooters. This is a good way to test if you are. Also, um, a lot of people will also tell you that this problem is specific to Windows Vista or Windows 7. Um, I'm running Windows XP and I'm suffering this problem so that's obviously a load of bullshit. Here we go, here's our first lag spot. 1,700. This will happen every minute or so and it'll just drive you absolutely fucking crazy when you're playing first person shooters. I actually, Battlefield 2 is the only first person shooter I play so for a long time I thought the problem was specific to Battlefield 2. I play a few RTSs and um, browse the internet a lot, you don't actually notice it's happening there. There's another uh, the V8 supercars, I didn't notice it was happening on that. It was just an occasional little jump in the game, I assumed it was just a server. With uh, Battlefield 2 your ping seems to jump up to about 1,600 or so and it doesn't drop down for about 30 seconds later and as you can imagine this plays absolute havoc with your fucking rego and it just drives you fucking insane. Anyway, I'll just wait for the next lag spike and just to show that wasn't just a coincidence. Here we go, 1,300 this time. In some cases it jumps up to over 2,000, sometimes 3,000, sometimes 4,000. It's just like a random thing. Anyway, that's the problem. I'll show you how to fix it. Go to Start, Run. Type in services.msc. There is a way of getting to this through control panel, but this way is a lot quicker. So Scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a service called Wireless Zero Configuration. Simply click on stop and that's it, that'll fix it. There is a, I googled around a bit, seeing if anyone else had posted this solution I could just link to. Um, there was one other guy who'd done it, he'd actually suggested going to properties, startup type and disabling the thing outright. Uh, don't do this because when you restart your computer your internet won't work. Also uh, when you do restart your computer you'll have to do this again before you play any games. So anyway I'll just show you that the lag spikes are gone. Ping Google again. Also as well, I actually have a, a third party software program for my wireless network adapter. Um, this I found was also causing the lag spikes in conjunction with this other problem. Um, someone suggested I just simply use that and don't use Windows XP to manage my wireless connection at all. I tried that, it didn't work. It actually even has an option in the software that says uh, let Windows XP manage my wireless connection and don't use this program at all. I tried that, that didn't work even with doing this solution both times. What I found the best thing to do was just piss it off outright. To do that you go to start run MS config start up uh, in my case it's a Belkin I don't know some fucking German name untick it click OK, restart your computer and you'll never see it again. I've heard uh, it's not just Belkin routers this can uh, be a problem on, it's also Netgear, uh, a whole bunch of other names, I couldn't be bothered remembering. 
but yeah, it's definitely an issue, and like I said, it'll drive you fucking crazy. So yeah, I'll just let this run for a bit, just so people are satisfied that the lag spikes are gone. I mean, you might occasionally get it jump up 10 or something, but that's just, you know, that's pretty bearable. When it's jumping up to 1,000, 2,000, then, yeah, that's completely unacceptable. So, yeah, as you can see, it didn't take long between the lag spikes before. Now, they're completely gone. run it, let it run a little longer just so, like I said, people are satisfied that the problem has been fixed. Apparently what causes this as well is that wireless zero configuration uh, service actually searches for a new uh, network connection every minute or so. God knows why when you're already connected to one, but I mean... It is created by Microsoft, so I guess that pretty much speaks for itself. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see the lag spikes are gone. And uh, yeah, if uh, some people might be running wireless internet outright, uh, if they're suffering this problem, this might work for them. I've got an ADSL landline with a wireless network router hooked up to that and this has worked for me. If you got outright wireless internet it might work but I don't have that so I can't guarantee that. It's definitely worth a try though if you are experiencing this problem. So anyway, just to confirm, lag spikes are gone. You can see up here where they were and yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope it uh, helps some people.